Welcome back. It may not feel like winter today, but after this weekend, uh, cold temperatures are expected to return. And this is the time of year where many of us run into car trouble. So here to help yes. us out is car coach Lauren Fix. Lauren, good morning to you. Morning. Let's start off with the, some of the items that are important when it comes to the stuff going on under the hood. Right. Now, remember, cold amplifies problems. So if you've got a problem with your car starting this morning, it's really going to amplify itself as it gets cold. And part of that is the engine. It needs to be lubricated. So you were saying you've a vehicle with high mileage. Right. Anyone who's got a vehicle that's got 75,000 miles or more, you need to move to a full synthetic oil and a high quality filter. Don't just go with the, whatever the quick oil change is because it costs a little more, but this is the lubrication of your engine. Better, less emissions, better fuel economy, longer engine life. This, this is the Royal Purple HMX. It's the new long life oil. I just got off the SEMA show and that's all the automotive stuff, so I brought some cool new stuff. Filters need to be changed. Obviously, dirty clean. Why would your car want to breathe through that? I don't want to. <laughs> Neither would your car. Got it. Uh, wipe now, blades and hoses and the, These, these <laughs> look frayed. This happens more during winter months? Absolutely. Just you remember, it's cold. Who Wants to get up in the morning and get out of bed when it's cold. Your car doesn't want to start when it's cold. You're really working it hard. So it's also important that you think about if you get a diesel car, there's diesel additives you can put in. The key thing with all this is to be prepared. Mm -hmm. And what I tell people is, oh, I, we see snow in Chicago, obviously. I live in Buffalo. We have the same horrible weather. You get even more snow. I there. know. So I would never, I have an all wheel drive vehicle. I have four snow tires on it, and I, I've been testing tires, and the new asymmetrical patterns actually give better contact. Now, this is a Continental DWS Extreme Contact. I have these on my SUV. The key to it is, if you look at the tire tread, it's kind of unusual, but it's good for rain, it's good for dry, it's good for ice, it's good for snow, and it's not a loud tire, because there's nothing worse than having a loud snow tire. What about folks who deflate their tires to get more traction? Is that a bad idea? That is a bad idea, and that's a really good question. Always use the number inside your driver's door as the correct tire pressure. You can buy a dial gauge or a digital gauge. They're about $10. The key to the whole thing is to check your tire pressure once a month. Tires are expensive. Those are not cheap. No tire is. And the, te price. the winter temperatures have an impact on tire pressure as well, right? Absolutely. For every 10 degrees of outside temperature change drop, you can lose two pounds of pressure, which hmm. could cause that check-in, that tire light on your dash that people get upset about. So what I tell people is check them in the morning when they're cold. Use the number inside your driver's door, and you can adjust accordingly. You can buy little air pumps that you can plug into your lighter, and, and it works great. Also, an add to your emergency kit, really critical. I have this. I've gotten stuck in the snow. Toe warmers, hand warmers, blankets, hats, along with your basic emergency kit. I toss in a few protein bars. Sure. You never want to get stuck in the side road waiting for road service or someone to help you and have and not be prepared. Better to take care of this kind of thing now oh, yes. as opposed to wait till it's a little bit too late. Lauren, Absolutely. thank you so much. Thank this you is so Lauren much. Fix, our car coach. All right, Kim, you got all that? Yep, and I got you on my speed dial to come bail me out if I get in <laughs> trouble too. Thank, thank you. you.